हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक हाई लो मेथड विच यू वुड हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन योर अर्लियर स्टडीज फ्रॉम पेपर एम ए बट हेयर इट इज स्टिल एग्जामिनेबल इट मे बिकम अ सेपरेट एम सी क्यू और मे बिकम द पार्ट ऑफ आ बिग क्वेश्चन बट वाट इज हाई लो मैथड लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस हाई लो मैथड रिमेम्बर वन थिंग that there is a cost which is known as the variable cost there is a fixed cost and there is a semi variable cost now what is semi variable cost semi variable cost is actually which is the fixed cost plus variable cost and now let's take an example let's suppose that you have appointed an employee to whom you are paying the salary a fixed salary let's say a fixed salary a fixed amount you are be, you are paying to your uh, salesman let's say and in addition you are also paying the commission so this is known as the semi variable cost in total you are paying the sum of fixed cost plus variable cost right so variable and fixed cost is known as the semi variable cost high low method is actually applied on its scope of application is on the semi variable cost and its aim it aims i mean the purpose the purpose of a uh, high low method is to separate variable and fixed cost you need to separate let's say for example there is 100000 dollars which includes fixed cost and variable cost both so you need to separate it out the fixed component and the variable proportion from 100000 dollars so the purpose is to separate variable and fixed cost and it is used for estimations of cost for the future activity you need to estimate the cost i mean estimation of cost i mean estimation of total cost and total cost includes includes fixed cost plus variable cost right so high no method is actually used for estimations of total cost for the future activity now there are series of steps for high low method do not consider it as an inferior topic it's also the important topic because it's examinable it is included as an identifiable content in your syllabus guide so what is these are the step of the high low method first of all it is already written here steps of high low method number 1 identify you need to identify the highest and the lowest activity level you need to identify the highest and lowest not higher or lower it is the highest the extreme top and the extreme lowest cost and it's the limitation of the high low method that it ignores other activity so identify the highest and the lowest activity and then you need to calculate the variable cost per unit pause this video and just memorize this formula okay now you have now you people have noted it down and memorized it i am believing so so variable cost per unit is calculated as total cost at highest activity minus total cost at lowest activity divided by highest activity and the lowest activity and the resulting figure will be variable cost per unit and then you need to apply the total cost formula that is total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost per unit multiplied by units and you need to calculate you need to calculate the fixed cost and then estimate the cost for the future activity now let's understand this high low method with the numerical examples question number 1 i am calling it a very very simple example question number 1 it's a simple example it's a simple example okay now an organization has the following cost at three activity levels now remember that this is the past activity levels these are the past activities high low method is actually being applied on the historical activities right historical activities so activity level 10890 units 12990 units 13400 units these are the 
activity levels. What was the first step? Identify the highest and the lowest activity, not the cost. So I am noting it down. This is H. H means high, highest. 10,890, it's L lowest, ignoring the middle activities. <clears throat> so, you have already identified the highest and the lowest activity. Now, using high low method, what will be the total cost at an activity level of 19,000 units? Let's say this is the future activity. This is the future activity for which we are going to estimate the total cost. So we need to identify, we need to identify highest and lowest activity which we had done. <clears throat> Secondly, we need to calculate the variable cost per unit by applying this formula. The first step had been done. Now I am applying this formula that is variable cost, that is variable cost per unit and here we go that is 69,900 minus 61,115 that's the total cost because we need to calculate the cost per unit so cost is on the top and units are in the denominator so this is activity levels 13,400 minus 10,890 units so we are able to calculate the uh, variable cost per unit so it is 69,900 I am using that manual calculator and you should also just take it as an MCQ that's why I am not using the spreadsheet right away I'm using the manual calculator so this is a 69,900 61,115 divided by 13,400 minus 10890 and we got this dollar 3.5 per unit and now what is this this is the variable cost per unit step number two we had done this is that step number two variable cost per unit we had done now the third is that we need to calculate the fixed cost and remember that fixed cost remains fixed until and unless there is a step fixed cost so here 3.5 now I will be applying that total cost formula see I am teaching you are learning and it will take some time because of my explanation and the repeated words so it's an attainable MCQ once you know that trick you can solve it within one or two minutes on your manual calculator okay so don't take it a time-consuming activity it's a simple activity so total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost per unit in two units now this is the total cost formula and I should write one thing that you need to select any of the activity from above any activity from above either highest or lowest so I am here writing selecting any activity example we are taking the lowest one it's okay you can take the higher one as well I'm taking the lowest one this is the lowest one and I am applying this thing over here. What is the total cost at lowest activity? It's 61,115 is equal to fixed cost unknown to me. Variable cost 3.5. Multiply by units here. 10,890. 10, now multiply it and minus with this. Using your mathematical tricks. This is 61,115 is equal to fixed cost plus 3.5 multiplied by 10890 and it is 38,115 it will be minus from uh, the opposite side of is equal to and I will get this fixed cost like it is 23,000 23,000 is the fixed cost you computed this like that way 61,115 minus 38,115 Five, okay, so you got 23,000 the fixed cost and remember one thing this fixed cost is known as the common fixed cost Common fixed cost which was common in month one which was common in month two which was common month three and in the upcoming future months as well So this is 23,000 now I got I got my required uh, figures. I'm highlighting it. I got variable cost per unit 
I got fixed cost. Now what's the requirement? The requirement is that what will be the total cost at an activity level of 19,000 units. So here I'm writing total cost for 19,000 units. Okay, so here it is fixed cost plus variable cost per unit multiplied by units. So what is this fixed cost? 23,000. Variable cost per unit was 3.5 and units are my desired units 19,000. So I can estimate this is my answer whatever will be. So it's 3.5 multiplied by 19,000 and then 23,000 minus answer this is sorry you have to add it 3.5 multiplied by 19,000 plus 23,000 this is 89,500 and here we go for yep option C and now you have to take on option C it's a very very simple example it's not complicated not complex it's a simple example 89,500 and your option is C all right so using Hilo method you need to apply this series of steps now what I have written in this example I wrote here it's a simple example now your confidence has been increased I believe so and you should also accept that feel positive act positive receive positive and now moving towards the next example that's question number two and that is A little bit complex a little bit complex not not uh, too much complex ABC limited has provided you the following data obviously this is the past data and these are the level of units it's high and it's low high and low okay and now this is the total cost this is an important thing now the complexity is here when activity level exceeds 23,800 units when activity level exceed 23,800 units then there is a step fixed cost of 7,800 using Hilo method calculate the total cost at an activity level of 29,900 units here 7800 is the step fixed cost this is 19000 this is 22000 and step fixed cost and uh, step fixed cost is not included so far we have to work we have to work on 29900 units and so the formulas will be same the formulas will be same now this is what the total cost are simple high and low cost I am applying variable cost per unit the formula this is 216 300 minus 195 230 divided by 22,900 and 19890 and the cost is 216 300 minus 195230 and that's $7 per unit this is a simple variable cost per unit alright no complexity at all now I will be applying the same selecting lowest activity so TC total cost FC fixed cost variable cost per unit multiplied by units and selecting lowest activity and that's the thing and here 195230 is equal to fixed cost plus 7 multiplied by 19890 and here you will be shifting the figures and you got fixed cost is equal to
that's 56,000. All right. Now, here I will be writing something else, but my answer is going here. Here I will be writing something extra. Now, solving this question first, look at the uh, left side of the screen. Here, this is the fixed cost. This is the variable cost per unit. And I got my desired, uh, I got my desired figures. There's a variable cost and the fixed cost. And I need to perform the calculation on 29,900 units. In 29,900 units, in 29,900 units, there will be the step fixed cost. Why? Because the question is saying, when the activity level exceeds 23,800 units, when the activity level exceeds 23,800 units, so that means obviously 29,900 is the extra units other than 23,800. So I need to calculate total cost for 29,900 units. There will be fixed cost. There will be step fixed cost and there will be variable cost. So what's the fixed cost? I mean the common fixed cost. It's 56,000. What is the step fixed cost? It's 7,800 units. Uh, sorry, 7,800 dollars. So step fixed cost is 7,800 and variable cost is $7 multiplied by 29,900 units. And you got your total cost and that's your answer. 7 multiplied by 29,900 plus 7,800 plus 56,000 and that's 273,100. That's 273,100 option B. That's your answer. 273,100 that's option B. Alright. Now, this is a very simple calculation. Now, I am writing here something extra and that is the what if I mean what if that's the conditional approach let's say let's say for example I am now changing the situation let's say I am now changing the situation what you will be doing note if there is a step fixed cost already included in the question repeat if there is a step fixed cost which is already included in the question you have to exclude it first how if a step fixed cost is already included in question Then first deduct it and then continue with normal HL, high low method. Alright, now first deduct it and then continue with normal high low method. How? Let's say for example, there is 1000 units, this 1000 units. And there is, let's say, 3,000 units, okay? And see that, let's say, for example, this is the past data. This is the part, past data. Uh, the window is a little bit congested, but it's readable. Let's say, for example, let's say uh, there is 7,000. This is the total cost TC and here it is 12,500 TC. Let's say and it is written in the question that when um, the activity level exceeds 2000 units there is a step fixed cost of 1500. For example, 
For example, here step fixed cost, step fixed cost dollar fifteen hundred. When activity exceeds eighteen hundred units or two thousand units, let's say. So, what is this? It means that in this twelve thousand five hundred, there is already a step fixed cost. Because the question is saying that there is a step fixed cost fifteen hundred dollars when units exceeds eighteen hundred units. All right. <clears throat> so this is above eighteen hundred units. That means that means in seven thousand dollars there is fixed cost and variable cost. In twelve thousand five hundred there is fixed cost. There is variable cost. And there is fifteen hundred step FC. Now see that high-low method is applicable on those figures which have some common element. Here fifteen hundred is something abnormal. So what you will be doing? Simply, simply deduct it, and it will be when you will be deducting fifteen hundred, it would become eleven thousand. And here it will be seven thousand. Now high low method as normal. That's a very simple thing. So if there is now the point to be noted is that if the step fixed cost is already included in the question, then first deduct it. I have deducted this fifteen hundred because in in this seven thousand in this seven thousand now there is FC and VC. And in this eleven thousand, there is again FC and variable cost. So there is nothing abnormal. There is nothing extra. So now you will be continuing with these figures for high low method as normal. So this is something which I have explained it through my uh, discussion and all that stuff. Now I am now moving towards the third question, which is the Complex calculation. Complex calculation. Here, here it is being asked, what is the total cost at an activity level of ten thousand units? Let's read it out. Activity level. These are the activity levels. These are the activity levels. H, L, high low. Ignoring these things, okay. Take it high and low approach. Variable cost is constant per unit, and there is a step up cost of ten percent. Now this is the complex element because in the previous example, in the previous example, ladies and gentlemen. It was fifteen hundred dollars. The absolute amount was given fifteen hundred dollars. It was the absolute amount, but here in that it is ten percent, not absolute amount. So you cannot deduct it because it's the ten percent. It's not absolute amount. So we will be using the uh, equations method. Now this is the complex calculation, and surely I am confident such kind of questions would be examinable in F uh, in your paper F five PM performance management. And I had talked some uh, I had a talk with some students who got such kind of MCQ in the real exam. Such kind of this because it's now your standard because you are studying paper PM performance management. Now here is ten percent on the total fix. 10% of total fixed cost when activity level exceeds 11000 okay now let's try to understand this what is exactly being um, asked to us there's a total cost at an activity level of 10000 units now i have got this thing at see that this is 204 this is 204 000 And this is two 
274 000 all right if there would be the absolute amount given in the question i would have simply deducted that simply deducted that but here this is the complex calculations complex calculation this is saying 10% of the total fixed cost when activity level exceed 11000 here 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 this is exceeding 11000 okay so just for your relevance here this is variable cost and fixed cost here this is variable cost fixed cost plus fixed cost uh, how much extra 10% this is now 10% of fixed cost you cannot compute the 10% because if you will be taking 274,000 10 person come on it will be you are applying on the total nothing no no not at all it is 10 person of this figure it is 10 person of this figure which is still unknown to me so that means my fixed cost is 110 percent fixed cost okay now such kind of question would be solved through basic mathematical calculations how i will be solving it listen and watch it with a very thorough attention i am now uh, i'm not drawing these two lines for you people to understand it very well here this is total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost per unit multiply by units all right and here this is Here this is total cost is equal to 110 fixed cost, I mean 110%. In, if I can conclude it 110, so that means you can uh, say like that way 110 divided by 100, that's 1.1. Because when you will be calculating with the percentage, so you can uh, write like that way. So I am writing it's 1.1 FC plus variable cost per unit multiply by units now uh, this is the beauty of mathematics and the equations that whatever the figures you are uh, you know simply write that uh, those figures and the figures which are unknown to you simply reverse it back you can easily calculate your desired figures okay so here the total cost is my uh, 204000 fixed cost is unknown to me variable cost uh, i'm calling it variable cost x because it is still unknown to me and the number of units are 8000 and 15000 okay so this is 8000 and here this is the total cost it's 274 1.1 fixed cost plus x multiply by 15000 it's x multiply by Again, a uh, uh, variable cost is unknown to me and that x is equal to 15,000, alright? Now, keep it, uh, keeping the things and calculations very simple, this is 204000 is equal to fixed cost plus x 800, here 274, 1.1 fixed cost plus x 15,000. It can even be solved very quickly, but I am not considering you people extraordinary champion in mathematics. I am assuming that you guys are average, but you should not prove it. You should solve it. So when uh, something is unknown, either X or Y in the mathematics, the maths is saying that isolate any one variable. So I am isolating it fixed cost. It's 204. Here it will be minus x800. I have isolated one figure. Again here I will be using the same trick. It's 1.1 fc is equal to 274,000 minus x1500, 15,000 sorry. But I need to isolate only fixed cost. So here fixed cost is equal to 274,000 minus x15,000 
it's multiplying here divided there so dividing it by 1.1 .1. so here you got this thing now in maths when a is equal to b b is equal to c a is equal to c okay so what i am not doing here fixed cost is equal to fixed cost now my next step would be to place the their equations and finding x ultimately we will be able to find my next figure okay so here it is fixed cost is equal to fixed cost now i am placing their equations okay so this is 204000 doing it a little zoom out in order to write down the figures here this is 20 fc is equal to fc here it is 204000 minus x800 is equal to now writing these equation here okay this equation that's 274000 minus x1500 uh i guess it was 8000 okay okay it was 8000 8000 this is 8000 divided by it's 15000 divided by 1.1 now the normal figures now the simple now you have to solve it with the mathematical trick it is is equal to a big is equal to it is this 1.1 is being divided here it will be uh, going over there with the multiplicative aspect so 204000 minus x800 it will be multiplied by 1.1 is equal to 274000 is equal to x 15000 it's 8000 again i wrote 800 it's 8000 now this 1.1 will be multiplying with this figure multiplying with this figure as well so 204 multiply by 1.1 <clears throat> it is 224 400 minus x it's 8800 is equal to 274000 minus x 15000 right now keeping it simplifying and um, minus now what i am doing i am uh, shifting i am shifting these values from is equal to to there so that we will be able to calculate our answer okay so now here it's this figure is uh, plus here 224 and when it will be going over there it will have to be deducted okay so i am now what i am doing here it's is equal to uh it's here is equal to 224400 taking this figure over there minus 274000 so here it will be x 15000 it will be going over there with plus x 8800 now 204 i mean 224 400 minus 274 000 minus 14000 600 is equal to minus because when the uh, uh, we will be using the sign of the biggest number minus 1500 1000 plus 8800 it will be minus x 6200 minus will be cancel with minus x here you will have to divide so x is dollar 8 per unit and it's 49600 divided by 6200 now x means this is my variable cost per unit 
okay variable cost per unit now we have calculated this variable cost through the complex calculation now what I will be doing I am uh, making this figure equation 1 and this is equation 2 place dollar 8 per unit in any of the equation you will be getting your fixed cost right so I am taking the first equation since it is a simple now placing x is equal to 8 per unit in equation number 1 and that was fixed cost is equal to uh, 204,000 minus x8,000, 204. So it was 204 minus x8,000, 204 minus x is 8 which is variable cost and you got fixed cost. Now what is the fixed cost? This is 140,000 and let me tell you a very interesting aspect. This is the common fixed cost. This is a common fixed cost which is 100% and now you can calculate the step fixed cost which is 10% of this thing if you need to calculate. So a step fixed cost is 10% of fixed cost. So this is 10% of 140,000 and you can conclude it 14,000 is the step fixed cost. Now if you will be needing that value so you can uh, easily accommodate this value 14,000 this is the step fixed cost figure. Okay now my requirement is my requirement is 10,000 units. My requirement is for 10,000 units and this will not include the step fixed cost because the step fixed cost will be included when the activity level exceeds 11,000 okay. So it's very simple thing 10,000 I got this common fixed cost now this is my uh, solution we final answer total cost for 10,000 units and in 10,000 uh, units there is no step fixed cost. So here it is simple fixed cost plus variable cost per unit multiply by units and that is this is the thing 140,000 variable cost 8 multiply by 10,000 and you got your answer 10 multiply by 10,000 that's 80 plus 140,000 that's 220,000 is your final answer. Isn't it an interesting question? Yes, it is because it involves a complicated, a complex calculation. Okay. It may even be examined in paper MA, management accounting. And now this is the 220,000 is my answer. And you can tick here, 220, option A. Now this is the option A. Okay. Now this Hilo method, lecture till here. Revise it very carefully. Have a great day now. Thank you.